Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to take a look at a quick tip that can help you keep your gear secure when you're out in the woods. Thanks for watching. When you're out in the woods, you're often messing around with different tools, whether it be an axe or a knife or something like a ferro rod, something that you're using and then sometimes you just set down. It's easy sometimes to lose that. The way that I combat that is putting these little orange lanyards on all of my, uh, my gear that I don't wanna lose. I'll put it on there. That way I can look down if it's in the grass or in the leaves or whatever, I can see it. But today's tip specifically about how to create a really, really good seal on this knot, or any knot for that matter, and let me show y'all what we're gonna do. So this is what I'm gonna show y'all how to do. You can see here we've got on the end of my, um, silky gomboy here i've got a lanyard but on the end here you can see i've got this rubberized material so i'm able to make a knot here and then make this basically waterproof and tight the way we do that is with these little heat shrink tubes you can buy this pack this is from a home depot it's a kind of variety pack of different sizes i bought this for nine dollars and 99 cents all you need is a heat source and you can create really nice secure knots. Let me show y'all. We're gonna do the same thing here for my lap lander and I'll show you how I like to do it. So there's a couple of ways to do this knot. I do a really simple, I put both together and then I just do an overhand knot. Okay, put both tag ends through there and I like to leave a little tight, nice and tight. I like to leave a little tail here. All right. Now, with that tail, you're going to get a piece of this heat shrink that's about the size of the tail. This one's just a little bit longer, which is just fine. Put it up to the edge of the knot itself, okay? I have a butane torch here. We'll turn it on. I'll show you. I'm going to turn it on low and then heat shrink it. That's all it takes right there, guys. But let's look at one of these. This is on the end of just a tie here on a little tactical pack. You could do the same thing on the end here. But one of the interesting things you can do is actually put it on the inside. So I would suggest that you undo this. Okay, while it's open, you'll slide your tube on. All right, so we're gonna create basically a handle or toggle with this. I don't need this whole thing. So we'll get a piece about about this long, okay? Fit this through, okay? Just work it through. And you're actually gonna start with your piece of heat shrink on the inside, okay? So put it just like that on the inside, then tie your knot just the way we did before, and you'll wanna tie this knot kinda as far out as possible. So we got both through there, and again, I'm gonna move this to the very end. Tighten this pretty well, okay, and just have a little bitty tag in. Now we move this all the way along, along the edge of that knot, all right, and now we're gonna heat shrink it. You just gotta be careful, obviously, with the blowtorch so that you don't treat the wrong thing. Here we go. So what you've done basically is you've taken a, and created a much better, once this cools off complete, completely, you've created a much easier tie to pull on. You can pull on this really easily. You can find it. You can also get this heat shrink in different colors. I'm trying to see if I can find it in like a neon orange like this, but I haven't been able to yet. But if you could get a neon orange shrink tube, that would be awesome. So you've taken a regular tie like this that is easy to grab, don't get me wrong, that's what you have this for, but it's open and it doesn't create as, as much positive grip for you. This one, you grab it and you can easily pull it and it makes sure that it stays in place. All right, so that's a quick and easy way to take these ties and these toggles and basically make it impossible for the knot to come apart. There's no way, as you can see, that this is gonna come off. You don't even see the tags anymore. It's just this rubberized material. Really simple tip, guys. Again, this is just heat shrink, something that you use if you're doing a lot of electrical work. You can take a freshly mated or soldered a joint and cover it with this heat shrink, but you can heat shrink almost anything. Be careful when you're heat shrinking. If you're heat shrinking anything that can catch fire, like 
you know, paracord can theoretically catch fire, but if you're careful, all it takes is you wafting just a little bit of heat and you end up with really, really cool things like this. As always, I appreciate y'all checking out Paleo Hiker MD. Channel continues to grow. It is hot, hot, hot in Louisiana. So I've not been outside very much. Planning on some shop projects here soon, but I am gonna do some heavy filming here at the beginning of July, planning some new videos, lots of great content for you guys. So I'm excited about that. I'm just gonna suck it up and sweat my off just for you guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos soon.